So we are visiting today a Wakai, Wakawis, Wakais. So we are visiting today a Wakawis a Century on 49 Blue Water Sailing Yacht that was built in 1991. She's owned by the same owners since uh, 2008. Uh, many improvements has been done to Atlantic crossing from Europe uh, and back and uh, a lot of cruising uh, in the Mediterranean. Let's step on board and see what we have here. It's a beautiful sunny cold winter day down here in South Turkey and we are stepping on board. We are using some kind of uh, just a piece of wood and you can see here that there is a boarding ladder to the sea. First impression. And we are moving forward. There is a big bimini here in working condition, not in perfect condition. The mast uh, has been removed last year. Uh, it was all painted and checked. And it's now looking very good condition. The same for the boom. And here we are in the cockpit. <coughs> Quite comfortable cockpit. There is a cockpit table just in front of the wheel that can be uh, installed. Very big wheel, turning very easy and smoothly. Down here at the port side we can see the Yanmar engine um, a control panel. The engine has been changed in 2011 uh, from the original uh, Cummins engine. So now there is a Yanmar engine with uh, 100 horsepower and with about 3,000 running hours. So we have, uh, we have winches here. This winch is to control the runners, which are now totally loose. The same at the other side. Huge winches uh, for the Genoa. And down here, some uh, sitting place uh, covered with teak. <clears throat> there is an old, uh, quite an old Garmin GPS system here. Quite comfortable to read, of course, magnetic compass. Let's move forward on the deck. The boat is all furnished with the teak deck. These teak decks probably have one last sending in their lifespan. They are very thin already. Reinforced windows, which looks in very reasonable condition. Here at the base of the mast, we see that there are uh, grainy bars from both sides, very efficient for open sea sail operation and uh, Navtech hydraulic uh, boomvang. Uh, the main sails are fully buttoned and from here you can also see the condition of the, the mast. It was painted new. Uh, the halyards are in good condition. Lazy bag in reasonable condition. And back there we can see the mast uh, with the Garmin uh, radar antenna and the GPS antenna. Now the, the standing rigging is a uh, road stays as you can see here. They have been checked during the removal of the mast and 
we are moving forward. There are plenty of massive hatches here uh, to provide fresh air down below as well as um, ventilation uh, openings. Wind last from Maxwell uh, operated electrically with deck pushed buttons and there is a, a anchor here with 100 meter of chain. Let's turn the camera and see what we see from this angle. And let's move, move back and check the interior of this boat. There is a spray wood here which is now not installed but you can see the stainless frame of it. Handlebars to hold yourself when you're going on the way down. And again this Bimini. Now under each one of the cockpit seats there is a, there is a, a storage space down here it's quite deep and a little bit behind same for the other side and here we can see the autopilot from Ray Marine and the throttle to operate the engine and on the other side Garmin gouges um, wind speed and apparent direction and depth sounder. Okay. Now the main the the main sheets are um, controlled from here, and you can see that there is a traveler going here, so you can adjust uh, the point where the main are uh, trimmed. So we are moving downwards into the the cockpit again there are very good and safe bar here very stable another two points here to hold yourself very useful <clears throat> and we are going down <clears throat> let's have a quick look around so the galley is on the starboard side. We will go into the details very soon. Navigation table. Uh, sorry, they are both in the port side. And here uh, on the starboard side, there is a very big salon with a very big table. The condition of the interior is quite good considering the year of the boat. A lot of storage space all around and we will continue with the movement of the camera. There is a door here <coughs> and this door separates the starboard aft guest cabin which is a double berth cabin. some storage place, hanging closet, wet closet, and underneath um, more drawers to store personal belongings. There is a, there is a port light here facing the cockpit, another one here. Uh, it seems that there are no leaks and the wood seems to be in good condition. Turning back, there is a door to the head. Mm. Trying to find the switch, but it's open. Yeah. 
So this this headroom uh, belongs to both um, guest cabins, the one which I'm standing at the moment, and it has a wet shower down here, toilet and sink. You use the shower by pulling out this uh, douche, and we are going to the port side and stepping into the identical guest cabin. Again, port light, which provide light and of course fresh air, a double berth here, another port light here, and another one on the roof. Um, so that was the, the second guest cabin from here. We are stepping out. Um, that's one more look back is that we can see that there is an access to deal with the with the engine if this will open the main engine or the engine is um, is located there there we will do a tour at the engine room uh, after we finish with the with the cabins okay so we are back uh, into the salon Again, this is the salon place for books, uh, storage space all around, small bar, <clears throat> another storage place here, and of course under the seats of the salon there is plenty of storage place. TV from Samsung at the front and let's move to the galley and see what we have here. We have two manual pumps, one for fresh water and one for seawater and um, if you want to learn more about the technical uh, specification of this boat you can visit the website or the web page of the boat by using the link at the video description below. So we have two deep sinks here, which is very useful uh, in a sailing boat. We have gimbal gas with two stoves and uh, with two burners and one uh, baking oven. You can see that it's moving freely. A lot of storage place all around here and <clears throat> in here. glasses places a dedicated place for glasses and additional place for uh, plates and big uh, beer cups or glasses and down here we have fridge and freezer which has a very big volume this one is the fridge and this one is the freezer very deep, you can store a lot of uh, provisioning inside. And that was the galley, nice handlebars all around here, around the, fr uh, around the galley, same here, up here. <clears throat> and here is the uh, table, uh, navigation table with the electrical panel of the boat. Um, all the switches are here. VHF radio with DSG in here. Yeah. Okay, let's move forward and see the master cabin. The master cabin uh, is a full beam master cabin in front of the salon. It's a good size double bed here. A lot of storage uh, space all around. As you can see, big port lights, hatches uh, at the roof, provide a lot of uh, natural light and can be opened to provide fresh air. On the other side, a small city 
which is quite wide actually small table which can be lifted underneath more storage and in here another storage there is a little bit of uh, electrical units here and some more storage in here this is a wet hanging drawer or closet and from here through this door by the way all the doors looks like uh, full wood old style heavy wood in very good condition and we are moving forward to the master uh, bathroom we have here the the sink and very good size shower <clears throat> it has a curtain all around toilet more storage more storage cleaning materials and then again hatch to provide fresh air and natural light same on the sides underneath the sink storage and let's move back to the salon I'd like to open the bilge to see how the bilge of this boat looks well, let's have a, a look from this angle at this beautiful salon very good size now the boat uh, as I said in the intro has done two Atlantic crossing one was in 2009 one was in 2011 the second crossing the owner stayed a long time in the Caribbeans back in 2013 came back to the Mediterranean and spent the rest uh, of the years until now with a lot of exploration uh, in the Mediterranean seas all over we can see the condition of the bilge there is a little bit of water but uh, I tasted them it's sweet water probably from uh, some hatch that stayed for the rains but here you can see the massive um, uh, kill bullets which are in very good condition <coughs> from here we will go to see the engine room so we are moving inside to see the engine compartment uh, in order to reach the engine here you have to remove the cushions and the support of the cushions of the the cabin the same for the other side it's a little bit hustle but not too bad now let's have a look we are looking at a Yanmar engine 100 horsepower that has been installed in 2011 as you can see it looks pretty much in very good condition now on this engine on the other side which we cannot see from here there is an alternator now this alternator is actually a generator which is installed on the engine let me explain this uh, alternator is providing power to the dynawatt unit it's a swiss company and can provide 220 50 hertz at any given time even if the engine is running on ideal speed or any speed so you can once once you run your engine you can run your air condition and any other 220 volt system it's a very uh, good and efficient thing to have on board